Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hauntingly Glamorous palette from Alien Cosmetics. Now, I've heard about Alien Cosmetics for a little while, but I don't know, I just... I loved their packaging, I loved the colors, but I never fell in love with one of their color stories. But then they came out with this, and this palette is in collaboration with Sydney Nicole. I believe that is her Instagram and her YouTube name. I will leave those linked down below in case you guys want to check her out. But I'm sure if you've searched for this video, you already know who Sydney Nicole is. But regardless, this is the collaboration she did with Alien Cosmetics. I saw the packaging, I saw the color story, and that's what sold me. I was like, let me try out Alien Cosmetics. They have been in my feed. They keep popping up. It's meant to be. So I went ahead and grabbed this. This is the front cover. I love the artwork that they do on all of their palettes. And I love that they have like Sydney Nicole as this kind of like Frankenstein's wife kind of thing. Gorgeous packaging and very sturdy packaging as well. This thing is thick. So I feel like if I dropped it, my shadows would have a chance at living. But this is the palette right here. I think this has a beautiful, beautiful color story. Dare I say this is my favorite Halloween themed colored palette, however you want to put that. So there are going to be two shimmers in the palette and then there's going to be one matte which is this green shade right here, Glamour Ghoul. This is a matte with very fine micro glitter in it and the rest are going to be matte shades. So I do have some thoughts on this palette. I will leave that towards the end of the video. I will throw up some swatches after this intro here so you guys can see what they look like swatched out. And and this is the eye look that we're going to be doing today using the Hauntingly Glamorous palette from Alien Cosmetics. So if you are interested in the tutorial on this eye look, you want to see some swatches, and you're interested in my thoughts on this palette towards the end of the video, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is the Hauntingly Glamorous palette from Alien Cosmetics. It's going to retail for $40 and there's going to be 12 eyeshadows in there and it is in collaboration with Sydney Nicole. The back of the palette just has the ingredient list. It has a really nice huge mirror with these two cute little foiled gold ghosts. And this is the color story here. You can see there's some really cute pan designs of some tombstones, some ghosts. I was so sad to have to destroy them. Um, and this is the swatches here. There's going to be two shimmers, one matte with micro fine gold glitter, and then the rest are going to be matte shades. So I've primed my eyes already with the P. Louise Rumor Base in the shade 01, and I'm going into Seance Weather. It's going to be the navy blue shade in the palette, and I'm going to start tapping, tip tap tapping that onto my outer corner, and then I'm also going to tap that in my inner corner as well, and then connecting them in the middle since we are doing a halo eye. I figured I would try something different. I'm not really good at halo eyes and I'd like to get better at it. So I thought we would try something different with this look. I'm going to tap on the color first um, just so I get my placement down. I figure out where I want the darkest shade to end. And then I'm going to start using some small windshield wiper motions just to buff out the edges a little bit to get ready for the next transition shade. Now that we have the color placement down, I'm dipping into Blood Curdling, which is the teal blue in the palette with a smaller, fluffier um, blending brush. And I'm going to start using small circular motions to start blending that into Seance Weather, our navy blue shade. Again, I like to pack the pigment on first before I go back in with the um, darker shade just to blend those two together. But honestly, these colors just blended so beautifully together. I didn't have to do much work. 
but just small circular motions right on top of the navy blue shade. And now that we have that lighter blue shade down, I'm just taking a more fluffier brush and just lightly kind of scratching at the navy blue shade to kind of help it blend into that lighter teal shade a little bit better. We get a nice gradient going. You know, the gradient is the way to go with a perfectly blended eyeshadow. So just small circular motions and just a little bit of the navy blue shade. that we have those blended to our liking i'm going into pale and mysterious it is described as a sage green and i can definitely see that it would be more green if you paired it with the green shades in the palette but if you pair it with the blue shades it does kind of look a little light blue which is perfect for this eye look so i'm just dusting it on the corners there so that you know we get the nice gradient i take it a little bit into the navy blue shade and then after that, we're going to go back into all three shades just to make sure we have a very seamless blend um, right before we go ahead and cut our halo eye. Never So once we've gone into all three shades, this is the kind of blend that we should have going. I'm next going to go ahead and cut my crease by using a P. Louise colored base in the shade Touch of Frost, which is a very light baby blue shade. Just going to try and match that to my other eye. And then we're going to go into the, um, the seance weather so sorry i guess i haven't had my coffee today seance weather and start to tap that on the inner corners there so we get a seamless blend going into our halo eye and then again i'll go back into our lighter blue shade and just blend that in together as well
Now for the center of our halo eye, I'm going into the shade Lily, which is the blue kind of green multi-chrome shimmer in the palette. And I'm using a dry brush and you can see that it has a beautiful reflect to it right off the bat. So I'm just gonna start tapping that into the middle of the halo eye and blending that into the matte shadows that we have placed down so they look very seamless. I'm just using a small brush to try and make sure that I don't go past that nice crisp line that I've created. So again, I'm just dipping into Blood Curdling, which is that medium blue teal shade, and also going into Pale and Mysterious, which is that lighter, like I said, kind of described as a sage color, um, just to make sure that they blend a little bit better. Now that we have our eyelid done, I'm just going in with some lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. They're my favorite lashes of all time. I do not know the style of these because I accidentally threw away every single box that I have. I need to buy some new lashes, but we're just gonna work on the lower lash line. I'm just taking all three shades that we had used and connecting them to the upper portion there. So now that we have that done, I'm going into my waterline with this Urban Decay um, eyeliner from their Game of Thrones collection a couple years ago. Um, I think it's like Night King or something like that into my waterline. And then for the inner corner highlight, I'm just dipping into Lily, that same shimmer that we used, and popping that into the inner corner. After that, we're going to do the rest of the face. And then I just added some like little faux diamonds underneath on the lower lash line just to add a little something to it. And then we will have the finished look. Alright guys, and that was the tutorial using the Hauntingly Glamorous palette from Alien Cosmetics. Like I said in my intro, I think this packaging is so beautiful. It's so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I love the artwork of her. She looks so gorgeous on the front cover. I love that the Hauntingly Glamorous here has this kind of foil print to it. And the color story in here is probably my favorite Halloween color story so far. I think these colors are so, so beautiful. Now, this was my first time ever using Alien Cosmetics, and I am thoroughly, guys, 
thoroughly impressed and obsessed with our eyeshadow formula. It has been a very long time since I had an eyeshadow that pretty much blended itself out and that's what this did. Now I only use the blue colors in the palette but the rest of them I can tell are already going to be the same type of formula. They are so pigmented. They're so blendable. Literally blended themselves. This was the easiest fastest eye look I think I've ever done and the shimmers in the palette. These two shimmers up here Lily and Elvira are so so beautiful so beautiful I'm so obsessed I went in with a dry brush and you can see how reflective and pigmented and beautiful they are you don't need to wet your brush with this but I'm sure if you want to wet your brush it'll give an extra oomph and foil to them if you want to do that but they work so beautifully dry mattes are so buttery and smooth I love this. I love this formula. I'm so obsessed. I am definitely looking out for the next Alien Cosmetics launch and I'm picking up the rest of their palettes because this formula is so, so good. I can't wait to dip into the rest of them. I think I might end up putting up an extra video this week using the Alien palette and kind of incorporating more colors together since you guys know I love to mix and match colors. But so far, I'm so thoroughly impressed. This is so gorgeous. Packaging is a 10,000 out of 10. And the formulation of these shadows are so mind-blowing and beautiful, guys. I would recommend picking this up. I don't know if it's limited edition. I'm going to assume that it's limited edition just because it's a collaboration. So run to Alien Cosmetics. I will leave the site linked down below in case you guys want to purchase it. This is beautiful. I'm I'm so obsessed and I'm so happy. So that's going to be my review on the Hauntingly Glamorous palette from Alien Cosmetics. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the palette. Will you pick it up or did you plan on picking it up? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the next time that I upload. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.